Hello there, yeah, um, so I don't need to tell you welcome back to professional training because it's more like a part two of my previous video I just did on volatility 75 index um, M5 in the five minutes candle. As you can see, I'm still in the trade because I started this trade in the previous video, yeah, for those of you that have checked it out, if you haven't, so quickly check it out. I started this trade in the previous video and then, um, yeah, so far you can obviously see um, the line where I started and, and it was a buy, it was a buy, um, so and it's, it's been going up ever since yeah and i explained why and how you can treat such and um yeah i think i went into this trade around this point so leaving me somewhere around here so um okay let me make that smaller somewhere around here so um you can see that it went up came down i still remain in the market and it's going up now i'm trading for a long term until it hits my um my whole graph my whole margin you know and i've set and like i said in the previous video i had set my exit point to be here 50. so that when it gets to this line i'm going to exit the market now obviously i'm doing this video just to show you guys that i stay through the market and just know that into the market and everything goes wrong and you know all the sort of things though so well like i said earlier now um, i'm going to the market for long term and um if you take if you have taken note of my time well according to my time i had when i entered the market and compared to now i think um i'll be seeing this uh this, this is a market of over an hour so i've spent approximately one hours in this market and then uh, yeah so this is the outcome so far now for this kind of trading with the parameters i entered in the market with if you check my previous video uh you will see that i got into the market okay so my trade my profit is at 1000 earlier it was at 2000 but we were you know still going to keep rising so um the parameter i entered the market with was um a loss size of 0 0.500 now um if you're trading the batteries and five index for those that have below um or be, for those that have i think below one 150 if you have below 150 dollars i doubt you'll be able to trade one one the bar 75 index because it won't allow you the market um form that once you go into the market probably buy or sell you start with a negative so the market actually starts with a negative leaving you at, on the um on the negative part of the market before you start gaining so um if you go into the market and, and the negative are always huge obviously i think when i started this video and i went into the market it gave me um a 300 dollar negative something around there though so if you add if you um using less than maybe 150 or 200 dollars to sell to go into this market the negative your initial negative in which you start the market will probably just send you out so yeah obviously you have to you have to have something like i said not less than 500 dollars said all this in the previous video and then um yeah 500 to 1000 dollars and above so that was advisable on other than that you can also reduce obviously I've, I've done this before you can also reduce this to probably zero point okay zero one if you want or zero point um, I think I like putting it here. Oh, sorry, 0 0.5 here. So cool. well, let's do 0 0.50. Yeah, cool. So I like even at this. And since I already know the market is still having on the buy scale, I can probably go in for a buy again. Yeah, confidently, obviously. Now you can see how little it started. It gave me a, um, a minus 11. So you can see why why you have to you know be very careful with your lot size and all that so if you are trading a hundred dollar account and you went into the market with these parameters i just created right now you, you won't be able to afford a simple fifty dollar loss from this from what's trading right now you'll be able to afford fifty dollar loss but actually since the market is already on a high level yeah we're trading um we're on a profitable level right now so let's quickly check okay you can see and then uh and i tried to close both at this point and like i said since i'm trading an account of ten thousand dollars i can decide to be patient until the market gets to its peak which it will surely do uh but probably take time so we can compare it to our previous starts on the market okay let's take this for example okay this point quickly accelerated unlike now but let's look for something that delayed a bit okay so if we're trading this kind of market now yeah delayed a bit went up went sideways hit your profit exit point like i said earlier but you want to go all the way you can see that it's you know delayed a bit and stayed up at the top part but well this almost similar thing might probably happen here but either way you don't just get greedy so if you are trading a thousand dollar account or um five hundred dollar accounts i think 
with what we are seeing here is enough for you to exit the market when once you hit your exit point be disciplined don't get greedy that's what i always tell you be disciplined don't get greedy and yeah follow your rules you'll set down rules and all that so for um stop losses i had done videos earlier for it on the volatility market it's advisable you go in with stop losses on the volatility market so um i, I don't I, I didn't go on with any of these trades with stop losses due to the fact that i i'm devoted to monitoring them and i'm sure how to go but either ways it's advised to set stop losses and take profit. So if I had set stop losses and I'm probably set a stop loss somewhere around this level, uh, and the market goes below it like it surely did right now, I would have exited and then yeah, probably come back and we um, strategize and probably be um, opting again at this point and still be on the profit level. So instead of risking the whole thing just to gain, um, because you understand the rhythm of the market, it's better you just um, be smart. Don't, be, don't just go after the profit and all that. You have to be smart, manage, manage risk, learn to manage risk very well. Those are the um, attributes of a very good trader. And so um, I think I'll throw it in here real quick for you guys. Um, once the channel gets to, um, I think, 25 to 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to start doing videos with my face on them for those that you have been asking about me showing myself and all that. So yeah, so just try to pull the channel and make sure it gets to their parameters, like I said earlier. So yeah, that's about all on this video. Yeah. Bye for now and um, see you on our next volatility video. Like I said, be disciplined, don't get greedy and you're going to be skyrocketing the market. Like, you're going to play in the market like a game of chess and be on the moon like always. So bye for now and peace out.